okay? Um, <clears throat> and uh, this tax concept is how I beat the IRS and tax court, beat them uh, rather swiftly. Uh, there, there is a case that's called in re or in regards to Bolins. It's uh, 135 Northwest uh, Rep 164, uh, 1912, Supreme Court of Wisconsin. Okay, and what this says, this high beat him in tax court. Uh, this is what it, this is the quote from this case. Every every taxpayer is assessed a K trust. <clears throat> having sufficient interest in preventing abuse of the trust to be recognized in the field of this court's prerogative jurisdiction as relator in the proceedings to set sovereign authority in motion by action. Okay, what does that mean? Uh, just in the f first few uh, words in, in this thing, I'll free you up. Every taxpayer is assessed to K trust. Uh, and if you've been watching my videos, uh, you'll, you, you've come to realize that that trust is the social security account. Uh, it's not you. Uh, so when you think about that, if every taxpayer is assessed to K trust, and a SESTA-K trust is a piece of paper, then it can't be you. So do not allow them to refer to you as a taxpayer. They tried that in tax court, court with me, and I said, whoa, hold on a minute. I'm not a taxpayer. I am the beneficiary of the SESTA-K trust. So as the beneficiary, I'm not even supposed to know that I owe taxes or the trust owes taxes. Because it's the trust that owes the taxes. Uh, as the beneficiary, I cannot make decisions in the trust. Uh, that's your job. So, IRS, if the trust owes you taxes, take it from the trust. What do I care? But you're bringing it to my attention. Uh, that means that you're telling me that's, that there's a trustee working in the trust that's not paying the taxes. Uh, so I'm assuming that you want me to know because we need to fire the individual who's not, who's acting as the trustee that's not paying the taxes, uh, and then replace them with someone who will. Uh, this is why I tell you, don't make any decisions for the trust. Uh, every taxpayer is assessed to get trust. Okay. Pay it. Why are you bothering me, man? I'm the beneficiary. I'm not even supposed to know. Uh, <clears throat> there's also uh, something I want to throw in here, too, that isn't quite related with taxes, but I'm going to throw it in here anyway. This is uh, uh, some more case law that I'd like to share briefly. And uh, the one from this particular case is U.S. Uh, versus Holzer, 816 Federal 2nd, 304, 307. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and what it states is... All right, Christopher Hauser, good job. I'll be in touch with you. I've been in touch with you before, been out of touch with you. Including in the case but, uh, of a judge. I want the Sesticade Trust the to pay my taxes and not before even allow me to know about and it. And if he deliberately conceals material information from them, he's guilty of fraud. Uh, think about that. If they conceal material information, they're guilty of fraud. Um... Uh, that's good. why they have to play by the letter while they're in there. Uh, one slight mess up that you can catch them in. They've committed fraud. You've committed a crime against me. You can't hear this any longer. This court can't hear it any, any longer because they're wearing the hat uh, of 
an employee. Uh, and then it goes on to say, in another case, this is uh, Georgia Department versus C- Sistrick. All right, Christopher uh, Houses. Officials are I put this on my YouTube channel, the so people. the people who got to and then last have enough guts. Supreme Court of Wisconsin can understand this. Uh, it's you don't have to pay on, fucking uh, taxes. The Sistrick Trust can pay it for it you, says, which is an unlimited motherfucking fund. Is a public trust enough. or agency 